Obviously there's a lot of challenges facing the provision of social care at the moment. We know that money is tight everywhere, especially for local authorities, um, and budgets are being cut, including social care budgets. And this is going to have an impact, and is already having an impact, on the social care um, provided for people living with HIV. And the money being given to local authorities to fund HIV social care used to be given under a ring-fenced ring, a ring grant, um, but last year that ring-fence was removed, so there's no longer any obligation for local authorities to spend the money that they receive for HIV social care on that cause, and there's no requirement for them to report back to the government on how they're spending the money. So obviously this is, this is a really big problem at the moment. There are some current trends that we're seeing generally in social care that are also having an impact on HIV social care. Um, for example, most local authorities now require someone to be assessed as having a substantial care need to be able to access local authority funded care. And many people with HIV, although needing support, are not reaching this, um, this level of substantial needs. And this might be because their symptoms and needs are fluctuating from day to day, um, or just because they're not deemed to have as, as sufficient a need as other people may have. Um, but we know that when people don't receive the support to help them cope with, the, with everyday life, that their problems will escalate and they're going to require, they're going to require more intense interventions which are going to cost more money later on. Um, the other big element, that's faced, the other big challenge that's facing HIV social care at the moment is the loss of HIV specialist social workers um, and the repla replacing those with mainstream social workers who may not have been trained to deal with people living with HIV and don't necessarily understand all the challenges that people face in their everyday lives.